Nick Church fishing here and uh, today I finally got my boat on the water. It's been a little while. I was going through some steering problems, came home from Michigan and my steering wheel was on the ground and at that time I only had Teleflex steering. So I figured hey it must be time to get the old base star. So just installed, actually this is the C star, I'm sorry. I just installed the C star uh, it was fun, but I did it and uh, went to my mechanic today. And uh, my, I have a great mechanic here in Slidell, Louisiana, and I'm definitely gonna uh, miss that contact uh, when we move to Michigan. But uh, he hooked me up the um, con the uh, the way to bleed the system and all that. I called him up and said, "What do I do?" He said, "Bring it here." He has a purge machine, and it was done within within five minutes. So shout out to uh, Chris Dyer, Poncha Train Marine here in Slidell, Louisiana. You guys ever need some motor work done, give him a call. Always taking care of me. But anyways, he did something also to my boat today that I thought was the coolest thing. And I wanted to YouTube about it and I'm actually going to do it and show you guys. Some of you have probably seen this before, some have not, but there is uh on my boat i have a 1997 sprint really good condition for its age bought it in huntsville alabama a couple years ago but i keep really good care of my boats gel coats really still good on it and everything carpets all good sometimes i take the windshield on and off uh depends on how i feel but i figured moving back to michigan i'm gonna want that windshield on there so i put it back on here for our trip but with an older boat um, I always wash it when I get home. I just got home, so I haven't even washed it yet because I knew I was going to do this video. But uh, you can see a little bit of discoloration here. And uh, this being the original fiberglass white here, and this just from underneath, just from being in the water all the time. So as I'm standing with my boat mechanic, he walks over to me and says, Watch this. And he squirts this stuff all over my boat. And this is the back of my boat. I haven't washed it yet, so it's a little dirty. I'll wash it today. But this looked like this. And he squirted that on there and just let it sit, and it took it right off. Now, I've seen this before, and I've seen this chemical, and kind of checked out the pricing about it, and there's a bunch of different things out there on the market. But this wasn't anything that you had to go out on the market and buy or or something online. This is something you can get at a dollar store. Now, personally, if you've got a fifty, sixty thousand dollar rig, yeah, probably not going to do that to it. I wouldn't do it to it. But I got a 1997, still really, really good condition. I'm going to wax it when it's done. Let me show you what it was. Right here, the works, toilet bowl cleaner. That's it. So. I just squirt it on there. I'm actually going to put it in a pump spray and I'm going to spray my whole entire uh, boat and I'm going to sit the GoPro down while I'm doing it and let it do a time lapse. And I'm going to show you that if you've got a boat that you don't mind putting toilet bowl cleaner, the works, I don't know what ingredient in it is. I'm not that smart. I don't know if it's the hydrogen chloride, if it's bleach. I don't know. I really don't give a care. All I know is that it made my boat white and that's pretty bad so bad as in good so I'm gonna set the GoPro down here I'm gonna do this uh, so that you guys can see this and run a time lapse video uh, so that you know I'm not joking about this just a typical pump spray and I'm going to take one bottle of toilet bowl cleaner and I'm going to pour it in here I'm gonna empty it out I wash it out. Now he did it right from the bottle. I don't know if it has to be that concentrated or what. But this thing is smooth. I mean, there's there's no problem with it. So I'm going to put this pump spray on and start pumping it up.
Okay, so as you can see, it's on my 17 minutes. It's been 17 minutes since I started spraying. Couple things. Wear long sleeves, because my arm is itching. I'm sure it's from the chemicals. But, like I said, this isn't a $50,000 rig, so it's fine. I'm not gonna bother. Now, here's something else when you're done. Premium boat wash, okay? Make sure you wash the boat when you're done. Now, there's so many different waxes and sprays out there but I found one at Walmart that I have used on this boat since I've got it. And I love it. It brings it to a shine. It's a wipe on, wipe off. You don't have to wait for it to haze up or anything, but it's protect all. And this you can find at Walmart in the automobile and RV section. It's a polish wax. It treats, it protects, it's really good. I got like just a few little faded spots right here. It brings it back to a shine just for a little bit. I actually need to fix that. But the rest of my boat, the gel coat is great. So I'll run this all over the bottom of the boat um, as well when I am done. So as you can see, I'm gonna take the camera off here and walk around. As you can see, that thing is back white again. That is unreal. All from toilet bowl cleaner. Okay, so here's the main side that you watched. Remember that was yellow? Look at it, it's white. All the way down, white. Now, I also sprayed underneath. Look at that, I haven't even rinsed it yet and it's white. So when I take this off, my boards are gonna, uh, unless I could lift it or something, but my boards are gonna be the only thing that is not yellow with uh, oxidation and stuff like that. But uh, I'm looking forward to putting the wax on. Look at that, it's just white all the way up and down it. And I don't know, that's just from sitting over the years. I mean, this is a 1997. So, I mean, this thing's pretty old, but uh, I love it and toilet bowl cleaner I haven't found anything as far as whether it like kills the fiberglass or whatever um, but I don't I don't think there's a problem right now I'm about to wash it rinse it and wax it uh, but I wanted to share this this tip with you guys cheap a dollar 65 I have a 17 foot boat it took two full bottles and I probably overkilled it that's just because it was my first time but this is I'm excited about that. I always like to find new tricks and stuff. But boat's ready to move to Michigan. And I uh, got new tires, bearings, and everything. And living here in Louisiana, the salt has killed my trailer. So I'm going to put this up for the winter when I get up into Midland, Michigan. And I'm going to wrap it. And I'm going to take this trailer. And I'm going to sand it down and paint it all through the winter. And it, as it gives me a hobby and I don't know if I'm gonna, what color I'm gonna paint it black or whatever but uh, I'm, I'm gonna make it look all nice so just wanted to give this tip to you guys and I uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you did uh, click thumbs up uh, on my uh, link right here follow me on Instagram uh, NBS angler uh, follow me on Facebook Nick Church fishing and uh, again um, I'm thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you next time